Okay, assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this turn project uh, for thermodynamics. In this project, you have to find the isotopic uh, concentration or isotopic temperature for a given uh, binary system. Okay, so I will take one of the example uh, like here water and formic acid. So we will use the S pen plus for this. So S pen. So you can uh, open this through cloud. Uh, open new blank simulation. Okay. And uh, the first step is to uh, find uh, the component. Okay. Add the component. So I have water. Okay. Add this one. And then I have formic acid. Formic acid. Okay, add this one. Add. Okay. Uh, so both components are added now. Next step is to use the method to calculate. Okay. Next. So you can change this to chemical so that you can have more options for models. So base methods you can see there are many. So question is which one to use? Okay, uh, there is option here uh, method assistant. It can help you to choose the uh, particular model that is suitable for your system or your binary system. Okay, let's click this one and let's see. So basically it asks some questions so about component type. Okay. If you have carboxylic acid, so in my case, I have formic acid. Okay, carboxylic acid in the mixture. Then it's saying that NRTLHOC. Okay, this model could work better or is suitable for the system. So, okay, let me find this one base method NRTLHOC. Okay. So I will use this one and let's see. Next step. Now, okay, enter property parameters. You need binary interaction parameter. Run the simulation. And table generation completed. So this is done now you can see binary here you click the binary and you get the xy diagram okay so from here and then first uh, value is at one atmosphere so we'll run at one atmosphere exactly one atmosphere and run the analysis And we got this one. Temperature versus the XY diagram. So it's showing that as a trope around, you can see read this point. This is temperature is around 107 and composition is 0 0.44, something like that. Okay, <clears throat> now again go back to the binary input. Uh, we need to change the temp uh, pressure now here. So pressure vary from 10 kilopascal to 500. So you can use like 100, 200, 300, 400. So you can take four or five data in that and get the A new value of T temperature and uh, composition. So, for example, kilopascal, I use 100 kilopascal. Okay. And then run. So, this is shifted now. Composition is changing. So in Excel, you can do 
you can uh, write pressure for example in excel you can write pressure p 100 and then you can write t as a drop and later you can plot t as a drop versus pressure same x as a drop and you can plot x as a drop versus pressure and then discuss in your report okay similarly you can generate pxy uh, also and here temperature is constant okay uh, temperature is constant here you run this one and you can see here is a pressure and composition and then again you can change the temperature so one of the uh, the second requirement is to change the temperature so 20 to 200 so you can change temperature here for example 100 and then run again the azotropic point will shift uh, shifting to this side okay so at different temperature uh, you can uh, find uh, the value of uh, pressure and x as a drop and then you can plot against temperature and you can discuss and then if you want uh, yx diagram yx yes uh, you can click here this is different type of pxy px and yx also it, it can plot for you so you can see this is a yx <coughs> here we don't have but um, here you can find Okay, so yx at 100 degrees centigrade, you can see, yeah, because last time we did it at 100, so temperature is 100, this is the yx, x and y, uh, for azotropic, uh, at the concentration at which it is making as a draw. Okay, so this is a straightforward. So choosing the method is is a little bit important so try just to give the you know using the help you can uh, see about your component organic or uh, so then you can choose accordingly and it will give you the txy and pxy data and that's it uh, i hope it will help you thank you